Soil salinization is referring to the excess accumulation of soils in soil. It is a global challenge that threatens the food security, ecosystem functioning and biomass production. In order to raise public awareness about soil salinization and its serious consequences, we have designed a series of easy to understand and do-it-yourself experiments. The first experiment was conducted to demonstrate the effects of salinity on plant growth. Through this we aim to show in simple terms how saline conditions affect plant growth under different conditions. Soil salinity is a worldwide problem affecting agricultural soils. This problem will be exacerbated in the future considering the projected climate changes under the business as usual scenario. Hence it is important to raise public awareness and educate the general public about the adverse impacts of soil salinization on several processes and topics such as soil degradation, economic welfare, human and environmental health, food security, desertification and many more. This easy to understand and do-it-yourself experiment was designed to illustrate how soil salinity or the presence of soil in the irrigation water can affect the growth of plants resulting in a negative effect on food security and biomass production. This experiment has been designed so it can be done at home without the need of expensive laboratory equipment and analysis. Common beans and garden cress were used as the plants of interest. Beans because of their importance as a globally consumed food item and garden cress because of its rapid growth characteristics. Different salinity levels, that is different soil concentrations, were used in our experiments to establish conclusive results and an accurate view of the effects of different salinity levels on the plant growth. This experiment was done together with some students of TOHH. The soil used was a universal potting soil available in the supermarket with common table salt used to create saline solution. The method followed for this experiment included filling the pots with a universal potting soil followed by introducing salinity to the soil by adding saline water solution into the pots. Afterwards, beans and cress seeds were sown in the pots and their growth was monitored. The growth of these plants was monitored for a period of four weeks and two weeks for beans and cress respectively. At the end of the time period, there were clear signs of the effect of different salinity levels on the plant growth. And with increasing salt concentration, the effect of salinity was more evident. In case of beans, only the seeds sown under non-saline conditions sprouted and grew into plants, while as in case of the cress seeds, the number of plants grown was observed to be less and less with increasing salt concentration, as you can see. Hence, the takeaway of this video is that salinity is a serious soil health challenge, posing significant threats to the global food security, crop production and vegetation, among other things. In the next video, we will have a look at one of the possible solutions to mitigate this soil health challenge.